There's uh, two trends emerging. I saw one study that says that, quote unquote, super rich Americans are retreating from the stock market and holding historic levels of cash. So according to recent data from the uh, Capgemini Research Institute, wealthy Americans have recently reduced their exposure to the stock market. Americans with $1 million or more in investable assets held more than 34% of their portfolios in cash as com- uh, in January of 2023 as compared to 24% last year. So <laughs> the interesting thing in that statement is not necessarily the percentage of money that people are holding in cash, but it's interesting to note here that the quote-unquote super rich is defined as having a million dollars or more in investable assets. Yes, that's that's a good chunk of change, but did you know that it takes at least that amount to fund an average retirement? It'll take way more than that for um, people in my generation and Seth's generation who, you know, may not have so- the benefit of Social Security if we don't, if our politicians don't do something about that. Um, it's going to take way more than a million dollars to fund um, just an average retirement. So I thought that was interesting that they call the super rich. And, you know, I think the the mainstream media works really hard to shape public opinion. So it reminds me of that promise of Bidenomics that, you know, he's not going to, he's only going to make the ultra rich pay their fair share. Well, look who's being described as the super rich now. People with a million dollars or more in investable assets. So I, I don't know the exact numbers, but there are a lot of people out there that have a million dollars or more just in their IRAs or 401ks as they get close to retirement. So that is a, a scary notion in and of itself. Well, the study went on to say that the highest level, uh, that this represents the highest level since 2002, and it's it's higher, again, than the 24% that they had last year. Meanwhile, and here's the other story that's developing, the professional money is taking a different direction. Hedge funds and mutual funds raised and broadened their market exposure in the second quarter. So individual investors are gravitating towards cash, while the professional money, the big hedge funds and mutual funds, are heading more, um, they're basically just doing a rebalance. They're rotating sectors into cyclicals at the expense of the growth sectors like technology and consumer discretionary. So to me, that just says that they're... um, maintaining a disciplined approach. Technology and consumer discretionary is what's led the way. So there's profits, there's gains in that. It's probably gotten a little bit uh, bigger exposure because of the growth, and they're just doing some rebalancing. So the moral of the story is don't try to time the market. 